Hello, I'm Ethan, and I'm going to talk about the federally administered tribal areas in Pakistan. It is known by the United States as the most dangerous place on earth, kind of like the Wild West of our day. There's been a warning from Pakistan and from pretty much everywhere else that travel through the areas is not advised and that they can't really help you because they don't really have control over the areas. The tribal areas are divided into agencies and also six frontier areas. They are Bajwar, Muhammad, Khyber, or Akzi, Kurem, and North and South, Waziristan. And then there are also six smaller zones known as frontier regions. The literacy rate in these federally administered region, tribal areas are really low, only about 22% as a whole, and for women, it's only 7.5%. The population has grown a lot in the last 20 years, from 3.3 million in 2000 to 5 million now. And there are only 8,000 people to every doctor, compared to 1,500 people per doctor in the country overall. And just to compare that to the United States, here, where I live, in the United States, we have about 336 people per doctor. So times that by more than 10, and that's how they have it in the tribal areas. People in the federally administered tribal areas consider themselves Pashtuns. They also speak mainly this one language, being 99% of the people's mother tongue. They also really like sports. Cricket has become a first class status, or attained a first class status in the federally administered tribal areas, and they've produced some world-class sports people, like Sharid Adfridi, who is a cricket player, and Maria Tourpari Wazir, who's a squash player. Squash is kind of like racquetball. As you know, this area, the federally administered tribal areas, is known best for its crime and its dangerousness. The Durand Line, which hasn't actually been recognized by Afghanistan, and it's kind of a fluid boundary, is an area where it's especially dangerous. It's where the Taliban make incursions from Pakistan. In May of 2018, so just recently, the federally administered tribal areas officially merged with the province of Khyber Pakhtunakhwanda. So now it is not, it's, it doesn't exist really. They're part of that province, and the good thing is that the Frontier Crimes Regulations, which was also known as the Black Law, which denied a trial by jury. It allowed criminals to be prosecuted in groups and groups to be um, accused of crimes instead of individuals. It is now not a thing anymore. And it's been replaced, after 100 years of being in place, with a full judiciary system. And the problem is that this area is still controlled mostly by the Taliban.